to show you this section. So, section plane here. I go here, click, and I can do live section. I can do flat shot, which gets you a cut through the piece as well. See, this is a good example. It takes a 2D object and it flattens it to how it looks. So now let's go do generate section. Let's do this one first. Did, we, did I show you guys live section? No, live section, look, I just click here, section plane. I choose orthographic view I want. And let's say which one you want, front, back, left, or right? Right? There's the right view. And it's a live section. What does it mean by live section? Just for viewing it. It doesn't save anything. There's your live section. If I want to get out of it, I click on it and press delete. And it goes back to its normal piece. That's the live section option. If I go back to sections and I go you generate section, this is going to make the plane into a block. So I'm going to do generate section. Now it's telling me to select a plane. Click select plane. Now I'm just going to, I didn't make a plane there, I realize. Uh, let me make a plane first. Let's make a plane first, my bad. Let's go do section plane, right over here. Click on it. Now it says select a face you want to make. So again, we're going to draw a section. And we're going to draw from one corner all the way across to this section over here. We agree? There's my section plane. I cut through there. It's not the best section. I should have went the other way. But I'm going to show you, then I'm going to go back to the other one. Now that I have the plane, right, I could go here now to its generate section. I'm going to click on the plane that I just made, right over here. And now I'm going to say I want a 2D elevation. <coughs> Press create. There you go. Press 1, enter, 1, enter, enter. So the scale is 1 to 1. There's my section plane. See how fast it was? Now let's go back. Erase this one. Let's go do another one. Section plane. Let's go from, draw it again, from this corner all the way. I don't have to always be drawing them, but I'm just going to show you. From here to here. All right? It's good. Same thing again. I go now, accept. I go to generate section. I click on the plane that I want, right? I press, there's more options here if I want to include the objects, call it as a block, I can export it right away to a file. In this case here, we're going to leave it as is. You also have the settings you could set up over here as well. <coughs> you could change the colors, whatever you want to do. You press, okay, press up, press create again, uh, select, sorry, choose this guy, then create it. <coughs> it's important that you guys remember so yes, once you select a section, it's important that you read the actual command line. It's telling you where do you want to insert it. If I click, it's telling me enter the scale. If I press enter, 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 it's going to choose the X, the Y, the Z for me right away. I don't have to change the scale and it's perfect. I go back to the top view, 2D wireframe, there it is. There's my section view. If I want to modify it, I have to go on and press explode. From there, I could click on the hatches, and I could change the hatch to one that I actually could see. I could go back to no more solid, uh, right here, hatch pattern, and I could choose an actual hatch that makes more sense. So you could see where the hatch is being cut through. All right. Go back. If I want to add it to the view now, I go back to my format. I get rid of this guy, right? And I have to make sure I put it in a layer that's not shown. I will make a new layer that's only shown in one view. I'll get rid of this guy over here, make a viewport, single. I should have did MV, but it's okay. Go here, top view, change the right scale. It was one to one. Uh, 
all right? And you have your good dimension and so forth. Is that clear? Any questions?